Jake Ludington here at OpenStack Days in Seattle, and I'm here with Jason Sturgeon. And Dell EMC has a, a product called uh, Scale.io that is a software-defined uh, storage solution. But can you talk a little bit about what that means in the context of the overall sort of EMC offering? Sure. So Scale.io is focused on block. So it's a software-defined block storage, um, sometimes referred to as server SAN. So what we're doing is we're taking the local drives from regular servers and aggregating them together to get better performance and to get better capacity and management as well. And so you take volumes from that and you allocate them to clients. Um, and so it also allows for great flexibility because you simply just add another node when you need more performance or more capacity and you can remove them as well. So you can literally move from old generations of hardware to new generations of hardware without changing your storage infrastructure at all. Um, and so it's also very flexible into what type of OS's it can run. It can run on Linux, it can run on Windows directly, and it can run on ESX as well as supporting KVM and OpenStack environments as well. So. Obviously, we're here at the OpenStack days. How does that fit in within the greater context of, I mean, you say it does work with OpenStack, but what does that mean? So that means, uh, so early on, our customers saw value in OpenStack with Scale.io. So we started early days in the Grizzly version to add support for OpenStack. And since then, we've upstreamed in Liberty. So what upstream means is that it's now built into OpenStack. You don't have to install anything special. And it will work directly and call our API to do the work that OpenStack does. So OpenStack, as it relates to storage and block, usually involves, hey, go create me a volume of X size and attach it to this host that is running this virtual machine. And so that is fully automated through the Cinder API, and we've been working to mature that. So we've upstreamed in Liberty, and then we've continued to improve, improve it in Mataka and Newton as well. And so we've added things like, um, well, the customers have asked us to also provide use cases as well. So one of our customers wanted us to do what we call QoS scaling, quality of service scaling. So you do things like, for every 100 gigabytes allocated, I want to provide 1,000 options. IOPS, and I can scale that up to a certain limit. And so customers have asked us to do that. We've worked with the community to, cha to change the Cinder drivers to support that and to support it in our drivers as well. And then we continue to improve other features inside of it uh, as customers ask for them and as we see need for them. And as we add fe more features to Scale.io, we're going to continue to, to update those drivers to take full advantage of them. Now, the Cinder drivers make it easy to integrate, theoretically, any storage, but um, there's lots of flavors of OpenStack out there. So what are you guys doing to simplify, um, are you, or are you doing anything to simplify around all the flavors? So from a flavor perspective, um, what we find is most customers don't actually just build their own OpenStack unless they're really large, because uh, to take it from the head and, and build it is a lot of work. And so they usually work with a, a partner like uh, Mirantis, Canonical, or Red Hat. And so we've been working with those partners to make the integration tighter and easier to do. So we've got Juju Charms, we've got Mirantis Fuel plugins that make it so that you can, in the process of deploying OpenStack, automatically deploy Scale.io as well. And so to be successful with OpenStack, automation really has been the key from what we've seen from our customers. And so we want to make it whatever their preference is for their distribution, make it one click deploy, no manual interactions in doing that deployment. And so we're iterating through our integrations with our vendors um, as, well as, the, as well as the community to make sure that we can do that. Well, now, now fundamentally, uh, EMC is now part of a what is also a server company. Yes. Um, so, are you guys doing anything around making it easier to uh, tile this together with, with Dell servers? Absolutely. So we recently launched what we call Scale.io Ready Nodes, which is basically a certified configuration of some Dell servers where we have specific firmware and configuration that we validated in the lab. So now customers can buy something that they know is tested and works well with Scale.io and we will support that solution. Um, Really, you know, when you go to software-defined storage, doesn't mean you take away the problems of hardware. And so, unless you're a very large shop that is able to have people that focus on your COD servers and the firmware and making sure there's no bugs in it, it's really a lot easier to buy something that's been validated and tested. And so, for those customers that don't have a big team to test hardware and standardize on it, we wanted to offer a solution that we validated and make sure it works well. Beyond that, for customers that don't want to actually buy servers and put them in the rack themselves, we also have an offering we call Neutrino. So Neutrino is basically OpenStack in a rack. Uh, turnkey solution, we drop a rack on site, we add nodes, and you get an administrative interface that's, that's customized for your administrators of the system, and you can go in and add tenants, and you can say they're allowed a certain number of resources, and you don't have to know anything about OpenStack at all. You just get it up and running, and then you can expand to multiple racks, and it's literally a few clicks to add nodes. And under the hood, the block storage on there is Scale.io that's providing that.